Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena, give me just a couple of seconds to shuffle all the cards and then we'll start. And we are ready now, so guys, the oracle cards first, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present, traveling lightly, simplify your life, joy and delight, open your heart to joy, strength card, sensuality, balance, work through your fears, look at the bigger picture, stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. And then the tarot, overall energies for you, knight of pentacles, six of pentacles, three of swords, hanged man. If you are single, you can face two of wands, page of pentacles, king of cups, six of wands. If you are in a relationship, you can face five of pentacles, seven of wands, five of wands, two of swords. Our focus is the word. Life cycles, life chapters, they come with major lessons. For me, the word is the opportunity to go through the experiences of the journey so that we can learn quite a lot. And also we can raise the level of awareness, wisdom and knowledge so that we can be hopefully more successful in the following stages of the adventure. Guys, allow me to start from the scenario that can speak about an ongoing relationship. Uh, the word can be the closing point. Some of you can be like on a break. The communication flow is not exactly active because of the five of pentacles. You can be hurt. You can be heartbroken. Uh, three of swords, six of pentacles as a combination of energies. Some of you have been taken advantage of by a partner. It was an unfair situation. We can think uh, of a betrayal. Uh, that's for sure for some of you, unfortunately. Uh, no fairness, no respect, no balance, no equal give and take. Your mindset, the Knight of Pentacles, was not honored by your partner in a reciprocal way. So that's why the hanged man for some of you can be an uncomfortable position. There is a good reason, at the very least one good reason, to change your mind about the opportunity to save this relationship. This can be a stubborn partner, the Seven of Wands. They are going to resist the completion of your relationship. They do not want to go down that road. The Five of Wands can be an energy about competition, confusion, inner conflicts, turmoil. Even gossip, guys. This is the confusion that this person brings to the connection. They are all over the place. They do not know what they want. They want you, but then they get distracted by other people. Then they come back to you because you are the one for them. And then they get distracted one more time. They cannot make a decision one that can be a mature decision, uh, like a person that can say, you know what, you are the person for me. I am willing to work for our relationship. I will focus myself 100% in favor of it. This is my choice. I want to go for it. This person is not able to do that. On the contrary, you can be built in this way thanks to the Knight of Pentacles. So if you are getting crumbs, from a partner, why should you settle for this type of situation? Why should you be okay with the chance to be left hanging every time, the hanged man? Work through your fears. If you fear that this person may not be the one for you, chances are they are not. Sometimes it's uh, as simple as that. Look at the bigger picture can even be the opportunity to think about the future. What if, what if you have the chance to move on? What if you have the chance to be happily on your own, happily single? Because the alternative is represented by a connection that is only a source of struggles and problems. So you may have to find the courage, strength card, to simplify your life 
to leave the burdens behind in order to clear the past, heal the present so that you can enjoy the future. And so that moving forward, you can even have new opportunities to open your heart to joy and to a deserving partner. Guys, for others of you single right now, the considerations about the past related to the Three of Swords and the Six of Pentacles are still valid. You are in a hanged man type of process because it's possible that you are looking for the type of partner for you, but the process is taking some time because of the Knight of Pentacles. Guys, we cannot rush time. We know that. We have to go with it. So, honor yourself. Honor the tasks and duties of your everyday life because by doing your best, you can call in even the type of interactions that can resonate with your virtues and your values. And that's also how a potential fair companion can spot you. This is crucial because if you have learned the hard way, now it's time for you to make those lessons count in the most powerful way possible. Work through your fears can still be an encouragement, but look at the bigger picture should be even a more powerful one. The hanged man can be in an uncomfortable position, yes, but he can see things from a different perspective compared with the one of other people. So you may have the chance to interact with someone that can be polite, page of pentacles, respectful of a new interaction. The page is willing to learn, he is willing to listen because he wants to improve himself more and more. There can be a token that can be gentle and kind, that can be brought to your attention. This person can be emotionally mature, King of Cups, but they can be a little bit shy because for me, the King of Cups can struggle uh, with the communication part if we think about feelings and emotions. This individual can be the warrior that we see in the Six of Wands, so we can think about challenges of the past, even for this person, they have found a way to overcome them all. Now they are hoping to get the chance to collect the rewards moving forward, especially in the romantic arena. They know what it takes to establish a partnership in the proper way, and they will meet you guys at a crossroads in their life, but also in your life. Your connection can be the chance to embrace and enjoy, I would say, a rejuvenating rain. The two of you can feel lighter uh, when you are um, interacting with each other. Joy and delight, it can be a matter of pleasure if we think about the opportunity to spend some time with a special person and traveling lightly, we have to release the burdens of the past, guys. Because if we think about the world, from the world, we can move to the full brand new cycle, but the fool can travel with a small bag. He can bring with him the lessons of the journey, but he can release the burdens. This is crucial for some of you and some of your potential new persons. So guys, let's find out a little bit more uh, about a couple of energies. For you, I want to see the Hanged Man because it's an energy that cannot be rushed. The Knight of Pentacles can be also a slow energy, but it can be about baby steps. What we need to fulfill is the Hanged Man energy. For those of you in a relationship, I want to see the Seven of Wands because it can be a resistance. And in the single scenario, I want to investigate the Page of Pentacles. So, hang the man first. Here we go, one card, guys. Knight of Pentacles, recurrent energy, I kinda love it, because it makes the point about your virtues and values, and even when it comes to the relationship, if you realize that you are not dealing with a prince or princess valiant, and you are getting your heart broken multiple times, 
you already have the answer about the future of the connection. And the word can put an accent to that type of realization. Seven of Wands. Ace of Wands, they want to reignite your connection, sensuality. It can be a physical thing. And it can also be a tendency to betray lovers coming from this person. Temperance, they want to work things out. Five of Swords, it can be a matter of ego. They do not want to let go because uh, they can realize that they can lose. This time, this person can lose. They do not like that. Well, there is a first time for everything, as the saying goes. What about the Page of Pentacles in the single scenario? Here we go. Well, King of Pentacles, all of a sudden, Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So, there can be a lucky turn of the events. King of Cups, recurrent energy. Love it. So, guys, relationship. It can be over for good. It can be a blessing in disguise for some of you. Um, maybe you were counting on the fact that your partner was able to grow. Um, they are not. They are not. They can be the man in green and red or the woman in green and red in the Five of Swords. So the bearer of the Three of Swords energy. You can look at them and you can think you are the heartbreaker. Someone that uh, can truly pursue the Ace of Wands when it comes to pleasure. That's why the competition can be a factor that can represent a constant. Guys, this person can get easily distracted. Unfortunately, I have to say that this person can truly follow the consideration that sometimes um, comes up when we talk about relationships, you know, with people that we know. And we can say, you know what, they are not good for you, you know, from the outside, we can tell. And this is kind of the same thing. Of course, it can be different uh, if a person is involved um, directly in the situation because maybe maybe we can lose track of something we cannot uh, properly figure things out that's why the hanged man is crucial for some of you so this person doesn't want to lose you guys but they do not want to change their ways as well so it's a deal breaker because the temperance, which is a divine energy, a divine alchemy, can be brought to your attention only because of ego. And the Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords can be the main priority of this person. They do not like to be left out in the cold because they cannot get the Ace of Wands. So they want to be with you because of that. But then, if there are other options, why not? because they think that they can always come back, not this time, guys, it's over, because some of you, following the King of Cups and the Three of Swords, can say to this person, my friend, I am not in love with you anymore if I ever was. Word, kicking in, completion, we turn the page. Those of you single guys instead can face an auspicious opportunity, I would say. This person can be shy because in the past they were not lucky when it comes to romantic connections, five of cups. They can share with you experiences. It's like the two of you may have gone through kind of the same type of relationships. Now you are wiser, now you are more mature, now you can be absolutely ready to recognize someone that can match virtues, values and aspirations. 
I love the Knight of Pentacles for you guys because considering the first knight, the hanged man from the still uncomfortable position can spot someone that can manifest the same virtues. It can be this person, they even get the King of Pentacles. They can be successful, guys. They can be in quite a position. They want to take care of a special person just like they can take care of themselves. This is a plus. There is no arrogance coming from the Nine of Cups energy thanks to the Page of Pentacles, so simple and yet so decisive in this flow. Someone that is willing to learn, someone that is willing to listen. They see victory in a connection with you. They see the chance to fulfill a wish. It can be a long time coming, maybe for the two of you. What's the best possible thing coming from this person? They will respect your choice. The man in the two of ones is holding the word. We get the word. The opportunity to ignite a new romantic connection should be a common decision from the two of you. This person is going to ask you guys if you are ready to think about a new romantic partnership that can go the distance because they hope that you can say yes. Feelings that can still be under the surface of the water considering the double king of cups can find a way to come to play and it can be quite a reward. Connection, this one, that can be a rejuvenating one. Chance to release the burdens of the past, traveling lightly. Simplify your life. The two of you can simplify each other's life. What a gift. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. It can feel good, guys. There can be balance. There can be a reciprocal attraction. There can be trust following this trend card. Opportunity to release our fears and even the chance to look at the bigger picture together with a fair companion. It can be quite a reward. I am happy for those of you that can resonate with the scenario. So guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.